sakit. Ada para sakit. Sakit saya saya nang sinabi ng Pilipinas na may nahalal na mga babaeng senadora pero sa lahat ng mga babaeng senadora wala nang natalo pinakamagaling na si senadora maging imaong senadora si is a big loss not only to the people of Senate but the government masyadong magaling at hindi mo doon sa kanya lahat ng mga korak na nandiyan walang takot Ano po yung pinaka mamimiss niyo ako yung senador Miriam I believe na lang dyante pa ako nung panahon na may mga attempt to Austria na sa malakan niya siya yung number one defender ninyo Oo Kaya nga Talagang hindi lang dahil sa benefesya ako, talagang ibang kanyang interview, ibang talaga yung pag-iisip. Pag tama, tama. Kahit na kayo bigyan niya. Pero pag hindi tama, pagkatanong ka niya. Miriam Defensor Santiago is the leader who wants to innovate this nation. She is the leader who believes in the potential of every Filipino to rise above mediocrity. She is a woman of destiny. She will be remembered in Philippine history as a genuine hero of her people. Ma Miriam, what can I ask of you? I am facing a woman who would become the president of the Republic of the Philippines. It is even an insult to the intellect of everybody to be asking a learned and experienced human being in this planet. So we have only one leader who dedicated her life just to serve us. A leader who will conquer everything for the sake of this nation, even death itself. A leader who inspires every Filipino to dream more and to be more. A leader who shares destiny. A leader who unites everyone. A leader who's incorruptible. She is Miriam Defensa Santiago, the Iron Lady of Asia. Thank you. 
ibang kalaking ganito na lang tayo, hindi. Lalabanan natin itong corruption na naging bunga at sanhi ng ating kahirapan. We can fight corruption. I have shown it in Immigration Commission. I have not allowed my words to overcome my deeds. At for those who think that I should withdraw because I have once been a cancer patient, this is what I say. I am now normal. I can think and I can act and I can pray. Ngayon, gusto niyo ako mag-urong? Sinasabi na nga ninyong nag-urong na si Miriam. Biro mo, ang lakas pati sa right to. Ang sakot ko sa kanila. I will never quit. I will never stop. I will never Mind you, for those of you who have been talking to your character assassins, I've been awarded as a judicial judge for excellence in trial work, not only by the TOYM of the JCs, the TOWNS of the Lions, but many other NGOs. She is Miriam Defensor Santiago, a multi-awarded former trial court judge, a legal luminary, and a judge of the International Criminal Court. But Santiago finally finds her match. Private prosecutor Vitaliano Aguirre grabs the spotlight on day 26 of the impeachment trial of Chief Justice Renato Corona. It begins with another lecture of Professor Santiago to the prosecutors, this time for dropping five out of eight articles of impeachment. But even for Filipinos used to the feisty senator, her words on Wednesday are shocking. You are engaging gentlemen in a public discourse on the merits of your case. You're not supposed to say that at all. Ang yayabang ng mga nagsasalita na ganyan, ang gago naman. Santiago gets away with the comment with the prosecution only asking that it be stricken off the record. But little does she know, one lawyer has had enough and reacts in full view of senators and viewers. Senators ask Aguirre to explain but the lawyer of Hubert Webb stands up to the dragon lady. But uh, the fact, Your Honor, please, that this is the first time that I experience in my 40 years of practice na ang isang judge ay nagle-lecture sa mga abogado. Santiago fumes, but Aguirre has a message for the lady senator from Iloilo. I, I really did it purposely. Because, totoo naman po na talagang Sri lang voice na, na nasasaktan ng tayong ako eh. Ang kuwang ko lamang po ay dapat po lamang na kahit ang mga senadori, mga judges at kami mga hamak lamang prosecutor dito. Ang pinakami importante po sa isang tao ay respeto. Ang nagdedemand, kung nagdedemand ka ng respeto, dapat respetuhin mo dun itong mga Mr. abogadong President, ito. Ayaw po pakinggan, umalis ka sa korte. Aalis na nga po sana ako eh, kaya lang... Granted! If that is in the form of motion, go ahead! Senators and prosecutors rush to defuse the tension and Aguirre is quickly escorted to the prosecution room. Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile keeps his cool but agrees that Aguirre overstepped his bounds. I cannot tolerate any disrespect of this court. The Senate cites Aguirre in contempt, the first time the impeachment court uses its contempt powers. Senators will determine the penalty in a caucus on Tuesday. It is, it is very offensive and it is contemptuous and it is really a blatant um, example of what should never be done in a court hearing. Parang ano, nakaka-insulto. Arrogante ba siya? Nakaka-insulto. And the way he answered, eh, quite arrogant. Prosecutors are sorry, but they say they understand Aguirre's sentiments. Yung sinabi niya, yung mga nasabi niya, uh, hindi namin yun anticipate na uh, pagpapalabas na kanyang damdamin. Kaya nga sabi ko, we are sorry for uh, what happened. Pero hindi ko rin siya masasisi uh, sa kanyang ginawa. Santiago says she also understands what Aguirre did, but her theory is different.
Magalit kayo sa kanya, ma'am, personally? No, I'm too old to take these things personally. I think it just has a mental disorder because, you know, a lawyer will never, never aggravate the judge. Aguirre refuses to face the media, but for critics and supporters alike, what he said and did were more than enough. She's Miriam Defensor Santiago. The senator says people already know her personality. But for Aguirre, even being Miriam Defensor Santiago is no excuse for disrespect.